So hi everybody, are you using the correct components that match up to your swing style or swing pattern? I hope you are, because there's a bit to it. So we're going to go through a couple of great plays here. Garcia on the left, we're looking at the trail arm, um, and we're looking at Cabrera on the right. We're going to see two completely different positions, and it's because of the, the ability to externally rotate the shoulder or not. Oh, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos coming your way. But we're going to get in there and have a look at these two swing styles and the components that match up to them. All right. So when we're looking at Garcia here, we can see where this elbow is pointing down. Right, It's pointing down towards his feet. Okay, Now that's, that's being hypermobile. Um, as I said, the ability to externally rotate your shoulder. And through this position, there's going to be a couple of components that he uses or that he can use that Cabrero generally can't generally can't do. So Cabrera's arm, you can see it's pointed up very, very high. Uh, we can see that it's, it's actually higher than, you know, his spine angle here. And it's going to take him a lot longer to get it on plane compared to Garcia, who's probably going to have, you know, the luxury to steepen it on to plane. You know? And he's going to use his right side more and open up his hips and his shoulders more at impact, where Cabrera's going to be a little bit more flat footed and have to wait for it. Okay, this is really, really important, guys, because if you are swinging... Uh, in one of these styles or some more similar to another one, you have to use the components that match up to that. All right, now let's get rid of some of these lines here. And we'll have a look at Garcia here. We'll get a line through the sharp. And what I mean by, you know, you can see where it's pointing over here, because of the, the right elbow will affect where the club points. You can see where uh, Cabrera's club is pointing. Uh, and in a completely different position. So Garcia, when he comes down now, he's, you know, he's gonna have the ability here to really you know steepen this club down you know, onto the golf ball and when he gets down into impact we're going to see more often than not with this type of uh, ability with the external rotation of the shoulder is we're going to see the I'll just get rid of that line we're going to see that him use his right side more we're going to see him uh, opening up his hips more and the two average uh, the fact is that the shoulders is you know, 26 to 34 degrees open bit of a coral the hips is a, you know, even more, the average on tour being, you know, 36 to 50 degrees open at impact with the hips. But that's just the averages, don't forget. All right, so when we look at Cabrera's swing here, we're going to see him, let's get rid of the lines, we'll see him come down. You know, it's going to take him longer to get it on plane. Okay, but he's going to get there. So you can see the club coming around. We'll see this club almost slowly falling around. And we won't see the hips open as much. We won't see the shoulders as open at impact and we'll see more flat footed now if you can see him coming down and into impact here definitely we can see that the you know the hips aren't uh, the shoulders aren't open as much here and, and the hips being you know maybe 20 degrees open or something like that but yeah you know, if he was to hammer the right side or open up as much it wouldn't match up to his swing style now obviously you know when he's getting in and around impact you know, you can see that the club's in a fantastic position, isn't it? We're not hitting it with the backswing, of course, but we have to get it down into a good position. You're not going to hit great shots all the time just by you know, thinking you know, positively if you're coming down in the completely wrong position. Now, the club's coming down there lovely behind the hands, isn't it? Where most club golfers around the world are coming down with the club, you know, in front of the hands. Now, you've got just about every single tour player out there filming their swings with their mobile phones or smartphones, right? these days. So you'll see them at the tournaments, they'll have little stands, little tripod holders, little holders of their golf bags or the caddies holding it. Uh, you see Jordan Spieth filming his swing just before he hits off. You see so many players looking in their phones and using apps and these basic swing apps. Very, very important. It's, it's hard for me to understand why there's so many golfers around the world and they're not doing it, you know, because I, th I think people don't actually realize, even some players I, I, I meet and talk to, they don't know that you can put your phone on slow motion and how easy it is to use an app and how easy it is to analyze your swing once you have good information. Now the reason I'm saying it, World Class Golf Instruction, worldclassgolf.com, we have over 700 videos, right? And we teach you how to film, what app to use, how to set your phone up, and yeah, like it is definitely the most detailed platform out there. So if, if you're not into detail, if you're not into swing styles and stuff for advanced players, beginners, novices, bunker series, you know, it's not for you. You know, you can jump on YouTube. Obviously, there's enough stuff out there to you know, get your next swing tip. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in, in practice programs, uh, stuff to print out and, and really like getting into a community and, and looking at you know, really improving your golf, guys, yeah, check out World Class Golf, instructionworldclassgolf.com. Yeah, you're about to see, I can promise you, you'll see some things on there that you've, you've never seen before. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.